welcome back today i've got another borderlands 2 build for you guys off the vault hunter zero i'll be going over his level 30 build and i'll be covering points up to level 50 60 etc and what points to uh, put your points into from level 1 to let's say level 60 or whatever or level 80 um, and i'll show you some gameplay as well after i do that so these are my recommendations of where you should allocate your points to from level 1 to level 80 as well. So Deception, that's level 5. Then level 5 to 10 will be Headshot, which increases your critical hit damage by 20%. Level 10 to 15 will be Killer. This is a kill skill which increases critical hit damage and reload speed by 50% and 75%. And then about level 15 to 16, uh, you want to get Boar. This is his best skill that he has. Um, definitely recommend picking this one up straight away. And then level f uh, 16 to 21, uh, you want to go to Velocity, which increases bullet speed, gun damage, and critical hit damage. And then level 20 to 25, you want to go one shot one kill which the first shot fired from a fully loaded magazine deals and increase 60 percent damage so every time you shoot your sniper uh the first bullet it's just an extra 60 percent damage so yeah you should be able to one shot quite a lot of enemies if you have a um jacob sniper rifle especially in normal uh normal mode and then you want to put your points into at one with the gun which increases your sniper hit shot accuracy reload speed and magazine size i would go plus four in this first and then put your last point uh once you get to level 31 into critical ascension which is a s critical hit damage um, stack and a sniper rifle damage stack that you can get after scoring critical hits with a sniper rifle and this stack can go up to 999 times, so 999 times times 6 is quite a lot of damage. And then level 32, you want to go at 1 with gun, uh, plus 5, and then move over to the cunning tree. Then you want to put your points into fast hands, so this is level 30 to 35 or whatever, uh, which increases your reload speed and weapon swap speed. Then 35 to 40, you want to go into Ambush, which increases damage dealt when attacking from behind or when attacking an enemy who's targeting someone other than you. And then about level 41 or whatever, you want to put uh, your point into Death Mark, which is a really great damage skill. So melee attacks mark the target for death for a short time. Mark targets take additional damage, so it's an additional 80% damage from all sources. Um, so it's just a nearly double increase of damage just from that. Um, and then 40 to 45, you want to go into Rising Shot, which is each successful range or melee attack grants a stacking damage bonus for a short time. This bonus can be stacked up to five times. Um, and then this increases the gun damage uh, by 2% per stack, which will be more once you've fully upgraded it as well. And then you want to go from level 45 to 50, go into Innovate, which while Deception is active, you gain increased gun damage and movement speed as well as regenerating health. And then you want to put your points into Death Blossom, which will be about level 51. And then 55, 50 to 55, you want to go Killing Blow. This is just increases your melee damage by 500% while maxed. And then you want to get Grim, which is a kill skill, um, which regenerates your max shields and decreases your cooldown rate by a percentage for a few seconds. So this is um, around 55 to 60, you'll get this. And then follow through will be 60 to 65, I think, which is a kill skill which increases your movement speed, gun damage, and melee damage by a percentage. 
Then you can get Execute if you want. I don't really use this, but other people do, and it just seems to be just a movement ability, but that's entirely up to you if you want to use it. Uh, then you can also grab Iron Hand, which increases your max health, as well as your melee damage. Um, Two Fang, I don't really use it, but it does have its uses. Um, and yeah other than that uh everything else is really up to you and then yeah i'll just show you some gameplay oh. right now so these are the guns that you get uh straight away once you start the level 30 um character so you get the uh skyrocket all this stuff the guns i recommend getting will be uh, the Miss Moxie's Bad Touch. So you can get this from tipping her at Sanctuary. So you can pretty much get a purple SMG from her just from tipping money, which uh, the game actually gives you like 250k. So yeah, if you just keep tipping her, she'll give you this gun. And I think you can get a good touch one as well. Um, which is the flame one as well. So you can reset the sanctuary and then get the um, other moxie gun as well. Um, another gun that I recommend would be just any Jacob sniper rifle with a high critical hit damage just while you're playing through the game. Um, doesn't have to be a legendary and true vault hunter and stuff, but definitely in uh, ultimate vault hunter mode you want to get those legendaries. Um, Droogs are also good. This weapon here, this uh, rocket here, I would just throw it out. The game just gives you it um, uh, as well as all these guns. I'd just chuck it out. It's honestly just a really shit gun. Um, and then you can also get the Bone Shredder from the Arid Badlands, which I'm in now. Once you get to like level 30, 31, you should be able to wield this. Um, it's just a decent SMG as well. Uh, that you can pick up, which does, like, quite a lot of damage. And, yeah, I'll, I'll show you some gameplay. But yeah, pretty much this, this grenade here, uh, the damage is based on your level. So, you just throw it, and it just seems to just decimate almost all the mobs in uh, normal mode. If you look at that, just that whole group of enemies is just gone. Yeah, just as easy as that. Um, but yeah, the two guns I would recommend using out of the weapons that they do give you will be the Sloth and the Bushwhack. But I would highly recommend trying to find some type of other guns i just yeah i would recommend these and then also using the um sanctuary loot chest we, which you can use the um skeleton keys and get purple weapons and all that um, it just makes the fight with the warrior a lot easier but yeah the shotgun here is pretty good as well would recommend using this over any of the other guns that they um, give you. And I'll just switch this to the Jacobs. Yeah, this is where you get the um, Bone Shredder, the gun that I was showing you before. You have our phone head, which is over there. If you see that right now, I shot through this guy here, and it just did 4 damage. So I'll try to do it again. Yeah, see that? That was what the boar does. You can shoot through an enemy and then it just annihilates them. 
Let's see if he dropped it. But yeah, this guy here, he's like a special robot. He'll drop you the bone shredder. This is where you can farm him. And then you can also go do um, Saturn if you want as well. That's entirely up to you. But yeah, this is what I recommend for uh, starting off as well. And yeah, hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.